In this video, we will solve a system of three equations with three unknowns using an augmented matrix by writing the matrix in reduced row echelon form using the TI-84 graphing calculator. To form the augmented matrix, we need to make sure all the equations are in standard form where we have the x, y, and z terms on the left and the constants on the right. And now looking at the augmented matrix, notice how the coefficients of x are in the first column, the coefficients of y are in the second column, the coefficients of z are in the third column, and the constants are in the fourth column. So going back to our example, notice how the second equation only contains two variables. We have y plus two z equals zero, which means the coefficient of x is zero, or we can think of the equation as zero x plus y plus two z equals zero. Now looking at the first equation, because the coefficient of x is one, the coefficient of y is negative two, the coefficient of z is one, and the constant on the right is two, notice how the first row of the augmented matrix is one, negative two, one, two. And now looking at the second equation, the coefficient of x is zero, the coefficient of y is one, the coefficient of z is two, and the constant on the right is zero, giving us the second row of the augmented matrix, zero, one, two, zero. And then finally for the third equation, the coefficient of x is one, the coefficient of y is one, the coefficient of z is three, and the constant on the right is negative two, giving us the third row of one, one, three, negative two. The next step is to enter the augmented matrix in the TI-84. From the home screen, we go to the matrix menu by pressing second, x to the power of negative one, right arrow twice to edit. Let's enter the matrix in matrix A. So we press enter, enter the dimensions. This is a three by four matrix. So we press three, enter, four, enter. And now we enter the elements of the matrix. After every entry, we press enter. So we have one, enter, negative two, enter, and so on. It is worth the time to double check the entries to make sure all the elements are correct. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. Go back to the matrix menu. So second, x to the power of negative one, right arrow once to math. Press up five times to RREF for reduced row echelon form. Press enter. And now we go back and select matrix A. Second, x to the power of negative one, Matrix A is already highlighted, we press enter, close parenthesis, and enter. And now we have the matrix in reduced row echelon form. Let's go ahead and record this on the screen. Now that we have the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, we can now easily determine the solution. Again, remember, remember again, the coefficients of x are in column one, the coefficients of y are in column two, and the coefficients of z are in column three. Looking at the first row, the equivalent equation to this row is one x plus zero y plus zero z equals negative three, or just x equals negative three. The equivalent equation to the second row is zero x plus one y plus zero z equals negative two, or just y equals negative two. And the equivalent equation for row three is zero x plus zero y plus one z equals one, or just z equals one. So this is the solution to the system. Because we have one solution, we can classify the system as consistent and independent. And we often give the solution as an ordered triple in the form of x comma y comma z. So let's go ahead and say the solution is the ordered triple negative three comma negative two comma one. I hope you found this helpful.